Well, looking at my surroundings, you might think that I'm here to learn about maple syrup or the fine Canadian art of beaver trapping. But no, I'm actually here on the property owned by famous reclusive Canadian artist Mendelssohn Joe. And I'm about to do something I never thought I would ever do. I'm about to get my portrait painted because when Mendelssohn Joe calls, you answer. And quite frankly, I'm flattered and uh, a little bit terrified. <laughs> Hello, Mendelssohn Joe. Pleased to make your acquaintance again. How are you? Uh, normal. Good. And you? I'm normal. Come in. Here I am with Joe. Joe, we're up here in the middle of the woods. Yes, sir. In a cabin. Yes. Where you live. Yes. And paint. Yes. A fairly solitary existence. Yes. You know how people love people? I don't like people too much. No. <laughs> Really? Not really? Is that why you're up here in the woods? Yep. Do you have a computer? No, sir. No. Do you have a um, fax machine? No, sir. Right. Do you have neighbors? Yes, sir. How close are the neighbors? Too close. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about your music career. Okay. Because you didn't start out as a, as a visual artist. I started at the age of 19 as a professional musician playing in the Depression Coffee House in Calgary, Alberta in 1964. And you became a pop star. Briefly, for five minutes in the period of 1969, 70, 71, 72, and that was it. Why did you stop being a pop star and decide to go paint? Well, I, I continued making records after I left the band, and uh, but the thing is, is... The only explanation is, is no one cared. <laughs> Why lie? Why lie? So let's talk about your paintings. Okay. You're, you're famous for your portraits. You've done series of portraits. You're famous for your satirical paintings because you have a sense of humor. Sometimes, yes. Yeah. Well, you've done funny paintings. So, oh, yes. Hopefully, uh, you'll show me the Prime Minister soon. I have a problem with liars. Uh -huh. Look, people who betray public trust, mm -hmm. to me, belong in jail. Right. And I'm not joking. No, I can see that. Yeah. So if I were uh, if I were uh, the dictator, mm. these guys would all be in jail. OK, well, let's look at some portraits. This is former Prime Minister Brian Mulroney. It certainly is. And what's the title? Environmentalist. Environmentalist. He declared himself to be an environmentalist, George Herbert Walker Bush, mm -hmm. the senior Bush. And of course, immediately, Brian Mulroney said, I'm an environmentalist. This is the environmentalist. OK, what do we have here? We have the fastest hypocrite in the West. So you're not impressed? Uh, he's just like a liberal. Oh. Well, this is, this is my final one of Kray Chen. Uh, I, I ran out of ideas on how to express my contempt for this betrayer of the public trust. Mm -hmm. And what is this called? Piece of shit in a suit. <laughs> I'm not in the business of flattery. Oh my. No, I'm not a gush guy. No? I'm, I try to tell the truth. Right, that's why you make me nervous. <laughs> Are you ready to sit? <laughs> I am. Well, then let's do it. Here's the other uh, uh, corollary rule is, mm -hmm. No one's in the building except the two of us when I paint, so uh, have a nice day. <laughs> it means see you guys in about two and a half hours, please. Yes, I'm a belt maker. Know how to write my name. Yes, I do. Yes, I'm a belt maker. Know how to write my name. Yes, I do. I like that. You did a good job. Did I? Yeah, was you good, were, wasn't I? You were cooperative and respectful. And I, uh, I sat still. You were, you were good. I didn't shut up. You were just fine. Yes. <laughs> I've gone from good to just fine. <laughs> well, that's good for me. <laughs> that's good. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Thank Wonderful you. Wonderful to meet you. What a great artist. And uh, thank, you. thank you for uh, doing this for me, for you. For me.